Hey everyone, how are you all? I hope you all are having a great day today. Today I am going to do some new day. Yes, I am going to sit here and talk about me. This is my new episode you can do next year. It's not a unique feature of this channel. If you are new, just letting you know I am kidding. Okay. Today I am going to new you about the fact whether I consider myself an extrovert or an introvert. Now. For most people, I feel that it's a very clear-cut answer. They are like, "We are introverts," and you can see even before they tell you, you can see and you can observe that they're introverts. And there are a lot of people who are extroverts. They like to party, all of that. And I'm like, "Okay, you're an extrovert. Great. Even before you tell me, I can get that." But why does it happen that that extrovert who is the life of the party, who's charming in meetings, who's who has a lot of friends, who's great at meeting people, who's Who's always the conversation starter in most of their friendships and relationships? Why do when they get sad and upset, they want a a quiet corner? Why do they want to be alone at the end of a very tiring day? Why do why does their social battery run out? As extroverts, they should always feel like going out and having fun, and being in their quiet corner shouldn't give them any kind of anxiety. Whereas at the same time. The introverts, who are always the quiet ones, who would never go and start a conversation, who would hesitate before starting a friendship, who is the who is just sitting in a corner in a party, right? Why are these people very extroverted when it comes to their friends and family and the people they're extremely comfortable with? Um, when they are in the mood, uh, they will, you know, they will be a life of the party that they have created, where everyone they love and everyone they know. Why they should not be? Even getting happiness from dancing on the table or talking too much or expressing their opinion and laughing their hearts out, they should be the quiet ones. Because I don't think anyone is extrovert and introvert at the same time. Every human being has a limited social battery that runs out, and every person feels when it feels comfortable, they want to laugh, they want to talk, they want to just make merry. And I think that's what is happening with me as well. I used to think that extrovert and introverts are two buckets that we put people in, and I never fit in any of those buckets. If you if you ask my family, they would say I'm an introvert because, and it's opposite, you know. Um, I, I'm, I'm I'm talking a lot with my family. I'm cracking jokes. I'm 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 being all this extra, but my family knows that I love sitting in a quiet corner. They see me every day at home, you know, whenever I finish work and before that, whenever I used to finish school. I take my book and I sit in a corner, or I take remote in my hand and I just watch TV for endless hours. Or I just talk to them, or I just be by myself and I do something. And I always have these several projects going on, and I focus on that. So they know that I love sitting in a quiet corner and focusing and doing my own thing. And they know that there are a lot of family functions they want to take me to that I am not interested. I'm like, what do I talk about? I don't know anyone. So that's why my father definitely, if you ask her, they'll say that I'm. He'll say that I'm an introvert. Whereas, if you go and ask my office people, or if you go ask my college people, they'll probably say I'm an extrovert because I love talking, especially with people of our age group. I love talking every single person that I have in my life right now. I have been the conversation starter, with very few exceptions. Um, and even if they have started the conversation, I have been so engrossed that they felt that I love talking and I have nothing else to do in my life. Um, so yeah, when I say that I can be socially awkward and I do have this very limited social battery, people feel. A call when they are my friends and the people that I know outside family, but my family when my friends come in and they tell my family that oh she is very extrovert they are called so they are two different people um, and when it comes to me and when I analyze my own personality I definitely think that both groups are correct ambivert is what I would give myself but even ambivert is not not a correct word I think. Ambivert means who is a little bit extrovert and a little bit introvert, or who has both sides in their personality. I feel like I am two extremes, so ambi or like a middle word does not suit me. For example, if I have my extrovert on, and it really depends on what side of bed I have, I have woken up on. I'm not literally saying what side of bed. I'm just saying that what kind of mood and energy that I'm. If I'm doing great at my work, if my health is fine, if I've slept really well, if I've watched my favorite show, if I really like the book that I'm reading currently, uh, then I'm in a great like spirit and mood. And if I like the people in the group and I'm comfortable, then I'm very extroverted. Then I'm taking care of everyone and being the mom of the group and making sure that you know 
uh, everyone is having a good time and making sure that no one at the table is getting ignored and and bringing in games and bringing in conversation and making plans everything you you want to meet me for lunch and then you want me to meet for dinner and then you want me to work for 12 hours and still go party and then that 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 but if i am a little low when my health is not correct when i think that work is not going right when something or the other is just not right in my life i go into this corner i go into this introverted zone where i don't meet anyone i just do my own thing or i just sit in silence this is something i do i just sit in silence i don't hold anything in my hand and i don't don't have anything around me and i just sit in silence and think and this is something that i love doing if you see me in an auto or in a metro or in a cab i'm not doing anything i'm not scrolling my phone and just sitting and looking at the view i like doing that i like just sitting and not thinking about anything not talking not engaging just sitting and that is a part of my personality and both are very extremes um <laughs> and i and i'm like i i it's difficult for me to reconcile both parts of my personality a lot of times because like just like the two groups that i know in my life i sometimes feel like i don't know myself when i'm extroverted and i catch myself you know being the life of the party or being being a part person who is spare heading a discussion and like who is this person and when i come back and i'm just reading my book like i never and i've not spoken for like 3 hours and like, who is that person uh so yeah and even though i'm a very talkative person inherently and even in my introverted side i think i'm very talkative no matter what i i i very i talk a lot but talkative does not mean social you would like to talk to just a select group of people you just like to probably talk about you know talk to yourself or talk to one particular friend or your mother or something uh um, but it does not mean that you're also social you're very outgoing and all that so talkative never leaves my life it's just that i would the the way or the energy or the manner in which i'm talking could differ i could i could really talk to you and and bring out you know try to try to know you bring out the other sides of your personality or i would just talk to a therapist i think you can that is talking so yeah that never leaves and because of that i'm like because i talk so much am i extrovert or because i like to do all these like lonely activities like reading and watching tv and just going for a walk or or, or just doing youtube for the matter and all of this are very like introverted activities where i'm just sitting in my room and doing those things am i an introvert you know i started this entire channel because i was alone and i tried to talk way too much so <laughs> So yeah, it it just gives me, you know, sends me for a spin sometimes. But don't don't think I'm I'm crying. I just have a little crack in my voice. But yeah, this is something that I keep on thinking about. And you please tell me in the comments if you think I'm an extrovert or an introvert, or if you think are you an extrovert or introvert or an ambivert word for that matter. Please let me know if you have reached that conclusion because I feel like a lot of people in my life. they have not reached that conclusion about themselves and they judge people very easily that yeah he's definitely an extrovert he's definitely an introvert you don't know how they spend their day after they go back to work you don't know how they spend their day when they are with their best friends and the family that they love the most so you never know so you let me know about your particular determination ki aapke andar the self awareness hai that you have decided what you are extrovert or introvert and let me know till then i'm going to go and i'll see you in my next episode